day 1112 i have not seen myself wow that's embarrassing that's uh wow <laughs> my hair is like this because i went to the gym worked out my freaking butt off and then got on my group coaching call and my hair is crazy so i put a hat on and this is this is what the hat did so this is after gym hat hair um i'm at a park right across the street from the gym uh did our warriors of god call it was such a powerful god talking about breaking into our greatness and and the vision that god has for us and today i was praying and 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 asking god for some vision and he just made it so clear what i'm called to do he said equip my people which means equip them with their purpose like equip them you know with the clarity on their purpose so equip my people build an army an end time army an army of warriors and fulfill the great commission which the great commission is jesus telling us go and make disciples of all nations and um it was just so powerful today just the clarity like the the bigness and the greatness like it's just equip god's people raise up an army and fulfill the great commission and i'm just like me lord like and it's just like i know that's what i'm born to do i know it and uh it was just unbelievable and it's crazy because someone prayed for me sunday and said you're going to be humbled by the greatness that god has put in you and that is very humbling it's unbelievably humbling um to think that like i'm going to raise up an army of god you know uh, warriors of god I mean, it's, but it's not that crazy. My company is called Warriors of God and the logo and everything that aligns with it, like, duh, of course, but just the bigness of it, just the bigness of it is just, it's humbling. It really is. And so we did a call talking about the bigness and the greatness. Um, and it was really powerful. And, uh, and there was one warrior in the group where there was just resistance. Um, and this has just happened a few times and, and I just got off the call and I was like, Lord, help me. What do I do? What, what do I do with this person? Because it's it's throwing off the momentum of the calls. It's shifting the energy of the calls. And like the last time you told me, the last time this happened, you told me to just love them and I've been loving them. And I'm like, Lord, what, what, do, I, what do I need to do? I feel like I need to ask them to pause because they're just not in the same place as everyone else. And it doesn't seem like they're gonna do what they need to do to get there yet like i just think the timing's off like i i know they're meant to be a warrior but it just seems like it's not now and 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 so i was just like sitting here just looking up at the star i can only see one of them right there and asking god and then uh i got massive confirmation like undeniable confirmation and uh so i sent a message and and let them know that i need them to pause um and that was hard like man it's hard doing this it's hard being a leader for a group like this but god has given me so much discernment like i can see the people in the group and how they interact and and what they bring to the group and i can see the the connections and and the energy that a certain group of people bring and and it's just like this it just had to happen and man it's hard because people can get offended you know people can get upset and this is where it's just like, I have to go back to that verse where Paul says, am I trying to please man or please God? For if I'm trying to win the approval of man, I'm not a servant of Christ. And so this is definitely not the position to be in to be liked by people. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's tough. But to do it for the Lord is, you just do it for the Lord, period. So... Um, so yeah, and I'm also proud that I took that stand and, and I'm the leader. Like I have to, I have to maintain the standard of the group and, and it's my job to, to lead and leaders make tough calls. And so, yeah, it was, uh, it was good. It was good. And the gym, I freaking crushed it. We just did, we did leg day with this trainer and he, it was so intense. It was the most intense leg workout I've ever done in my life. It's not like I've done a lot of them. Like I'm not trying to say, you know, <laughs> I've been doing it my whole life, but of the ones I have done, you know, maybe the 75 or hundred of them that I've done in my life, this was crazy intense. 
And if I'm not sore tomorrow, it's an unbelievable miracle. After the first, just the first exercise, the first station, like my the muscles of my legs were so tight, like I had to stretch again. Um, and just seeing how strong I've gotten, like it is crazy how strong I am right now. Like, it's just like, what? This is crazy, Lord. It's just, it's so exciting. It's so exciting and so inspiring. And, you know, I was talking to the warriors and just um, this vision that God has given me, this this command that God has given me, um, you know, this this mission, this call of equipping his people, building an army and fulfilling the Great Commission. It's just made everything else in my life seem so small. All of my problems just became microscopic compared to the bigness that God has on my life. It's so humbling and it's so freeing and I just feel so free. I feel so at peace. I literally feel the peace of God. It's like he, he's, he's shown me my greatness and I'm starting to try to accept it. Um, I'm trying to accept the bigness and the potential he's put in me and uh, accept the greatness and, and it's very humbling but it's also very liberating. I feel more liberated than I've ever felt in my life, more at peace than I've ever felt in my life, more calm, more just trusting God fully. Like I have to go out to North Carolina to speak on this stage in three weeks. It's gonna cost an extra $1,500 plus the day I leave, I gotta pay $1,500 in rent. So I'm gonna have to come up with $3,000 just to literally just like not even including all the other things I have to pay for over the next month like food and I got to come up with all this money and I've got $300 in my bank account and I have no clue <laughs> what I'm gonna do and uh I feel totally at peace I feel at peace like seriously like if I end up living in my car I feel at peace with that because God has already shown me my bigness and my greatness and any challenge or struggle, it's only temporary. If I have to live in my car for two months to step into the greatness that God has me called to step into, I'm fine with that. Like I trust the Lord fully. Like I give you my life, Lord. I give you my finances. I give you my business. I give you my relationships. I give you my body. I give you everything. Everything and you do whatever you want with it and I will, I will accept it. I'll be obedient and I'm gonna keep working my butt off. I'm not just sitting around doing nothing. Like I am laying the foundation of an empire for God right now. And the world might look on the outside and say, bro, go get a job. But in the spiritual realm, in the kingdom, what I'm doing right now, I'm literally laying the foundations for an empire, for a revolution, for a revival that's gonna change the world. And I honor that. I honor that. If that means I, I have to eat rice every day, that's fine with me. That is fine with me because God has just got something so big. And I, I just got a vision of it today and oh, my soul feels liberated. It's incredible. I've never felt this this before and it's just accepting my greatness that even if I were to live in my car for a month, two months, whatever, whatever. I mean, I don't think God would, would have me do that, but even if he did, the bigness that is coming, like, yeah, the amount of success that I'm gonna have is gonna be crazy spiritual success, kingdom success, and also worldly success is just crazy. So anything that happens is just gonna be temporary. There's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to stress about. God's fully got me. He's shown that time and time again. And now this is just, this is a leap of faith. And uh, you know, he's called me to, to bring calling coaching to every believer on the planet. Well. There's 2.2 billion believers on the planet. So even if I charged a dollar for the coaching, that's $2.2 .2 billion. So the financial thing is there's nothing to even worry about. And I don't worship money anyway anymore. And I'm not doing anything like this for money. I'm just doing it for God. And uh, it's incredible. So yeah, I've, I've never felt this level of liberation before in my life. And it's, it's amazing. It's so inspiring. So yeah, thank you, Lord.